the, first of all, the way that they played against Ohio State last year is a strong indicator of, I feel, they're going to beat Ohio State this season. What do you think the they're score between to. Alabama and Texas is going to be very quickly? This year, those are those aren't the same thing. We are not. Well, we, you then you can't not use this in property. I, I mean, you talked about why can't it, why can't I use that though? They're because they're two similar Tyler opponents Butler that might are be playing each other. Week two for Alabama, and you talked about atrocious quarterback play. I, You're wait, wait, offensive wait. Corner, I'm using you're... that as context because that was how they prepared to play against Ohio State. In Marcus Freeman's first ever game as a head coach, no, and they played true. great defensively. That was they, his sorry, his second game. They played great defensively at Ohio State. Tyler Buckner played like ass, and that's why they lost that football game. C.J. Stroud was the quarterback then, and now Kyle McCord takes over, who we have no idea who he is. That is going to be his fourth ever game, and that's his first legitimate test on the schedule. I would be worried if I am Ohio State's offense, having to deal with and face off with that. Cam Hart and Benjamin Morrison deserve more recognition for being one of the better defensive back corner duos in all of college football. They deserve to be recognized as that. I'm not saying that they're going to completely take Emeka Abuka and Marvin Harrison Jr. out of the game, but if they played the way that they did last year, there is the capability for that to translate to this year because they didn't lose that many defensive bodies. But Ohio State lost a ton on offense. That, to me, is where the defining factor is here. I think that they beat Ohio State and they get to 10 wins. Oh, my God.